Good day everyone. Today we will discuss the topic simple interest. To start, let us uncover the objectives that we need to fulfill for today's lesson. First, we need to define simple interest. Second one, we need to compute simple interest. And the third one, we need to compute a known principal rate or time. Okay. okay. Now, let's define simple interest. We have here the formula for annual simple interest, which is I sub S is equals to principal multiplied to rate and time, where I sub S is the simple interest, P is the principal or the amount invested or borrowed, R is simple interest rate, and T is term or time in years. Now let's have example number one. A bank offers 0.25% annual simple interest rate for a particular deposit. How much interest will be earned if 1 million pesos is deposited in this savings account for one year? So the given, we have the principal, which is 1 million pesos. The rate is 0.25% or in decimal form that is 0 0.0025 and the time is one year. So we need to find the interest or the simple interest. So the formula is I sub S is equal to the principal times rate times time. So from the formula, we need to substitute ang mga given the P, R, and T, ilisan of amount, which is 1 million times 0 0.0025 times 1. So, the simple interest is 2,500. So, the interest earned is 2,500 in one year. Next example. Well, let's have example number 2. How much interest is charged? When 50,000 pesos is borrowed for 9 months at annual interest rate of 10%. So, the given, we have the principal 50,000 pesos, ang gihulaman. Next, the rate is 10% or in decimal form, that is 0 0.10. And the time is 9 months in a year. So, that is 9 over 12. So, let's find the simple interest. So, from the formula, we have here, I sub S is equal to P, R, and T. So, substitute the value of principal, rate, and time. We have 50,000 times 0 0.10 times 9 over 12. So, C9 over 12, that is equal to 0 0.75. So, 50,000 times 0 0.10 times 0 0.75, and that is 3,700. 50. So, the interest earned is 3,750 pesos or you need to pay an additional in interest of 3,750 from the loaned amount which is 50,000 pesos. Now, note when the term is expressed in months, kanisha, nine months, daily years, it should be converted in years by t equals m over 12, the number of months divided by 12. Why 12? Because in a year, we have 12 months. Now, let's have example number b. Complete the table below by finding the unknown. So, we have here the principal rate, time, and interest. So, letter A is unknown. Wala takabalo pilay principal amount. But we have the rate 2.5%. The time is 4 years and the interest is 1,500. So, the formula for this or the unknown principal can be obtained by P equals I sub S over or divided by rate and time. So, substitute ilisan. Si interest rate, we have 1,500. Si rate is 0 0.025 in decimal form from 2.5%. And the time is 4. 
So we multiply 0 0.025 times 4 and it divide 1 5 divided by the product of these two. So the principal is 15,000. So letter A here is 15,000. Letter B. The unknown rate sa letter B, ang wala na hibawan is rate, can be obtained by, this is the formula, R equals I sub S over P times T. So we have 4,860, this is the interest, 36,000 is the principal, and the time is 1.5. So we multiply that, that becomes 0 0.09 or it is equal to 9%. So, letter B is 9%. Letter C, the unknown time can be obtained by. So, sa letter C, wala takabalo sa time. Ang given is the principal, the rate, and interest. So, pangitao na to, pila ka years. Okay. So, the formula is time equals the interest rate divided by uh, simple interest divided by the principal times rate. So, we have 275, mora man ang interest. That's the principal is 250,000 and the rate is 0 0.005. So, we multiply and divide. We have here 0 0.22 years or year. Now, let's find letter D. Kani. Given si principal rate and time, ang interest ang wala. So, therefore, our formula here is this one. In the simple interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So, multiply ra ang tulo. We have 500,000 times 0 0.125 times 10. And the product is 625,000. So, the simple interest is 600. 25,000. Now, let's have example number 4. Example number 4, we have here, when invested at an in annual interest rate of 7%, the amount earned 11,200 of simple interest in 2 years. How much money was originally invested? So, pila digi invest kung Sa duha ka tuig, nag-earn og 11,200 at, at, at an interest rate of 7%. So, na atay given na R equals 7%, which is the rate, or in decimal, that is 0 0.07. The interest is 11,200 and the time is 2 years. So, ang atong pangitaon is the principal. Pilay atong gibutang para mutubo siya 11,200. So, the formula here, we have P equals the simple inter interest divided by R times T. So, substitute 11,200 divided by 0 0.07 times 2. I multiply sila and duha and I divide. So, we have here 11,200 divided by 0 0.14. We have 80,000 pesos. So, the amount invested is 80,000 pesos. Now, let's have example number 5. If an entrepreneur applies for a loan amounting to 500,000 pesos in a bank, the simple interest of which is 157,500 pesos for 3 years, what interest rate is being charged? So, the given is the principal, which is 500,000. The interest or the simple interest is 157,500 and the time is 3 years. So, ang atong pangitaon is the rate. Pila, ka, pila ang rate nga gihatag sa iya ha? So, the formula for rate is R equals the simple interest divided by the principal multiplied to time. So, we have the solution is substitute na ate value ni simple interest which is 157,500. Our principal is 500,000. Our time is 3 years. So, i-multiply ang sa obos. That is 1,500,000. So, 157,500 divided by 1,500,000. That is 
0.105 or that is equal to 10.5%. So, the bank charge an annual interest rate of 10.5%. Now let's have another example. How long will a principal earn an interest equal to half of it at 5% simple interest? So, pila daw ka to egg or pila ang time na ang principal maka-earn of one half sa atong principal na ang rate 5%. Okay. So, the given, we have the principal, we have the simple interest, one half of principal, and the rate is 5%, or in decimal form, that is 0 0.05, we need to find the time. So, how long? So, time at ang panitawan, pila ka years. So, the formula is P equals the simple interest divided by P times rate. So, substitute. Ang atong simple interest, we have one half of principal and the principal multiplied to the rate which is 0 0.05. Now, since common si principal sa ibabaw o sa ubos, pwede siya makancel out. Ang nabilin, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05. Ganong 0 0.5 na Because one half is equal to 0 0.5. So, kung atong i-divide ang duha, we can come up to 10. So, the time is 10 years. It will take 10 years to earn an interest that is half of the principal amount. So, kung mag-invest ako 1, 1 million pesos, ang iyahang interest rate ng i-offer sa bank is 5%, after 10 years, makakuha na taog interest na 500,000. Okay, that's all for today, everyone. I hope you learned something, and thank you so much for watching, and you may now enjoy your quiz.